Welcome to QUTV Weather. I'm Chelsea Hooker and I'm here to provide you with all your weather needs for this upcoming week. So we're going to start off with a little overview for this upcoming week. We're going to see a lot of clouds and a lot of rain. There is going to be some sun poking through, but nothing to really dry anything off or provide any warm weather. But don't fret, you're not going to be wet this entire upcoming week. Going into today, we're going to see a high of 56 and a low of 37. The average for around this time of the year is going to be a high of 50, 43 with a low of 25 degrees. In 1981, we saw a record high of 66 degrees, but in 1978, we saw a low of negative 6 degrees, which as you very well know, you would not catch me dead outside. So then going back into today, we're going to see a high of 56 degrees and as you have pretty well experienced, a lot of rain coming down hard and coming down fast. Winds coming in from the southeast at 8 miles per hour, so nothing to help blow the storm away. But going into tonight, we're going to see a low of 37 degrees with still a lot of that rain coming in. Winds are coming in from the southwest at 13 miles per hour, so again, nothing to help really blow the storm away. Going into Thursday, however, we're going to see a high of 41 degrees and a lot of clouds. So even though we got the clouds and no rain, it's not going to help dry anything out. Winds coming in from the northwest at 18 miles per hour, so it's probably going to make it chillier than it feels. And then going into this weekend, we're going to see a high of 35 degrees on Friday with a lot of clouds still coming in. But going into Friday evening, we're going to see a low of 24 degrees, and the clouds are going to start going away a little bit. And then Saturdays, when the clouds come back full force with a high of 48 degrees, the sun will peek through occasionally, but we're still going to see a lot of clouds coming in. And then going into this weekend, we're going to see a lot of the highs in the highest 50s, with the only outlier being Tuesday with a low high of 52. A lot of the lows are going to consist of the upper 30s. But even though our high of Wednesday is at a high of 58 degrees, the clouds are still going to be there, so it's not going to be too warm to go outside. If you want to take advantage of some warm weather, I would suggest going outside Sunday or Tuesday, where the sun's going to peek through those clouds just a little bit to help give some warmth up to this week. And then here at Quincy, Universe, Quincy TV, we like to celebrate Black History Month. Our first individual is Phyllis Wheatley, who was a trailblazing author. Wheatley was captured and enslaved at a young age. She lived in slavery until her potential was realized as a prodigy writer. Wheatley was 12 years old when she had her first poem published in 1773, but received little credit and no real proceeds. However, George Washington praised her work as a, female, as a female black writer. And during this time, female black writers had no ability to publish independently. Another black individual who made an impact on history was Ralph Bunch. Ralph Bunch was the first black individual to receive a Nobel Peace Prize. Bunch was a diplomat in political science. He won the Nobel Peace Prize because of his work in the Arab-Israeli conflict in the 1940s. He was a chief mediator in the 1948 Armistice Agreements. He also worked with Eleanor Roosevelt for the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which we still see in use today in the United Nations. That's all for this week. Stay tuned for more. Follow us at QUTV News on both social media. I'm Chelsea Hooker. Have a good day.